Cassie here. It is Bikini Blaster 7 today for bodacious back and sleek shoulders. What you're going to need are a pair of hand weights. I'm using fives today, but I would suggest keeping them anywhere between three to fives because we're going to be doing a lot of tiny um, reps. So you really want to dig into that muscle, not go too heavy that you can barely move your arms anymore. Okay, I'm so excited because there are some awesome new moves that I just introduced to my real life classes a couple weeks ago. So it's time to take it on to YouTube and torture you. Let's go. All right, so we're just gonna start out with one weight. I want you to hold it in your hands, just like so, and you're gonna go ahead and give me a nice um, hip width stance, and all you're going to do is reach out, out, straight ahead. So this is a little bit of arm cardio, and you're gonna be working your shoulders and your chest. So maybe it feels like nothing right now, but oh, please, would Cassie ever make you do something that you're not gonna be sore with tomorrow? Uh-uh. So guess what? We're gonna kill it and do a ton of these. A ton. And this isn't the only range of motion. Oh no. We are going to go 45. We're gonna go straight up and we're gonna have a blast with it. Whew, I'm already feeling it. And I already feel my heart rate increasing. Reach, exhale. Oh, I feel the shoulders burning, but you know what? That is just your lactic acid. You are not tired. You are gonna keep going, especially if you want nice, rounded shoulders for tank top season and just for life. Good, reach out, Whew. give me five, four, three, two, diagonal up. Here we go, reach, reach, Whew. burning, but so good. Let's go, reach up, up, see right here? We're kind of going to where the ceiling meets the wall. All right, you want to keep your back nice and firm, tall, keep breathing. Good job, excellent work. You guys are doing a fabulous job. Reach, reach, whoo. Exhale, exhale, give me five, four, three, two. Let's go ahead and go up to the sky. Reach up, whoa, I can't believe I'm already starting to get tired. Reach, reach. Oh, there goes my shoulder making little noises, but whatever, it is okay because I just crack in weird places, guys. Don't worry, we are fine. How you doing? You're doing just good, right? Keep going. I want you to power through. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, belly button into your chest, reach, reach, and guess what? We're gonna go right back down. Give me 10 more right here, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, diagonal. Here we go, reach, reach. Don't die on me, come on, keep going. This is just the beginning. Woo, push it right here, push, push. 45, oh yeah, reach, reach. Give me 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, five, four, whew, three, Two, last one, straight forward to you, Whew, to me. Press it, reach, reach, those shoulders on fire. Oh, no, they're not on fire, they on fire. Keep going, give me 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, six, harder, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Oh, was that a warm up or what? Okay, hold on to that one weight. We're gonna go ahead and stretch it out a little bit now. What I want you to do is face one of your feet forward, just like so, okay? And then you're gonna reach all the way down. The other foot is parallel to the edge of the mat, okay? Hand right behind you. I want you to lift up that arm, okay? Rest your hand onto the mat and I want you to slightly bend that elbow, just a slight bend. And what you're gonna do is press back, squeezing the shoulder blade, and up a little bit forward. This is for that upper back. So that when you wear your halter dresses, when you're wearing your bikinis, guys, if you're shirtless, you can get that nice, sculpted upper back. Press and press, beautiful, press. 
good. And guess what? You're stretching out that hamstring. It feels amazing. Very nice. Pressing back. Slight bend in the elbow, okay? You want to protect the joint, so give me that slight bend. Beautiful. Press. Press. You should definitely feel it in your upper back. A lot of these are yoga fusion type of moves, so you might recognize this pose. Um, but we're just adding a little bit of Pilates sculpt to it, you know? Getting a little bit innovative with our moves because there's a little bit of good in every type of exercise. So when you fuse it together, you get a powerful, powerful product. Press, press, good, hold on to that weight, come on. And if this is getting really tough for you, feel free to let go of the weight and just open up your palm and press it all the way back. Good, reach, reach. Oh, how does that upper back feel? Feel good? Oh, I sure hope it does. Keep going, give me 10 more. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six and five, four, three, two, one, hold it right there, very good. Go ahead and drop that weight down to the floor, lift up that arm, and I want you to take it onto your upper thigh, right there. Press that elbow back, uh-huh, right there, press it back. Open up that chest, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, very nice, inhale. And exhale, pressing the elbow back a little bit more. Good. And bring that other hand right on top of the one resting on your thigh. And bring both of the arms together. Interlock, lift, stretch out that upper back, stretch out that leg, and come all the way up. Very nice. Let's go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Grab onto your weight, okay? One leg out, the other one up. And I want you to press the arm all the way up. Good. Reaching right there, hands behind you. Ooh, my uh, hamstring on the side is a little bit tighter. Slowly press that elbow down and you're going to press back. Back, back, very good. Squeezing that shoulder blade. Perfect. Back, back. Ooh. I can feel that I'm a little bit stiffer on this side. So this is good. I know I'm definitely gonna feel this tomorrow. Um, your, you know, your back is a place that's sometimes neglected and because we are sitting at the computer most of the time, we're, we tend to be hunching over, so it hurts to really do these tiny exercises on the back, but it's so good. It's gonna give you great posture and stand tall which actually makes you look slimmer and thinner without even trying. Your posture really should increase through Pilates and these workouts because it's just an elongation of your spine and just your stance overall. You have to reteach yourself how to stand proudly. Good, pressing back, back, very nice, back, back. Now if your hand is hurting on the bottom, you can go ahead and create a fist. That's cool too. Keep pressing now. Good, press, press. Oh, I love this hamstring stretch too, it feels so good. Excellent job, back, back, back. Okay, how about eight more? Eight, seven, come on, press back farther. Good, give me five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, press even more back and drop that down, we'll almost fell backward. And now reach up that arm, bring it right behind you onto that upper thigh. Press your elbow back, open up that chest, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Go ahead and place that other arm right on top of your hand, and reaching both arms behind you, interlock, lift up, Stretch that upper back, stretch the hamstring. Inhale through your nose, exhale, and lift all the way up. Woo, that felt really good. My legs are all stretched out. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab both of the weights and do a little bit of shoulder and back exercises all in one. This is gonna be burn central, but you're gonna love it because you love it every time I kill you. So grab onto both weights. What I want you to do is open up the palm, just like so. I want to see a slight bend in 
at your elbow and all we're going to do is pulse up, 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 up. That's it. You can feel your biceps, you can feel your shoulders. Reach, reach. Now you can really stand however you want. I just want you to stand tall. That's all, stand proudly. And you're just gonna breathe because it is going to burn and you're gonna embrace the burn. Good, keep going. Reach up, up, up. Very nice. Press, press, press. Keep going. Lift, lift. Oh, these fives are feeling so heavy. Yeah. Good, give me five, four, three, two regular shoulder presses right by your ears. Let's lift up and down. Oh, it burns and down. Reach and lower. Exhale up and down. Nice. Very good. Pressing straight up. You're going to make sure that you're not bending your back like you're a crazy person. You're going to keep everything nice and firm, like so. You can even slightly bend your knees if you need to. Keep going up and down. Reach and lower. Good. We're sculpting those nice rounded shoulder caps. I'm not sure if I said this before, but rounded shoulders tell people that you work out and you are serious about it. So you know what? Show it off. Reach and down. Keep going up and lower. Press. Nice. Give me five and four. Come on. And three. Good. Two. Last one. One and down. Hold it right here. I want you to slowly pulse, 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 pulse. Very nice. Lift, lift. Oh, it burns. It's so good. Whoo! Give me ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly drop. Inhale through your nose. Roll it back. Exhale through your mouth. Forward. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Let's go into that upper back. Hands out like so. I want you to press those elbows behind you. Press, press, press. You might recognize this movement from my backless dress workout where I got chased by a cow. Do you remember that one? I'll link it right here if you don't and you want to see it. Not the footage of me getting chased by a cow, but I, told, I do talk about it. It was actually a very scary experience. I was hiking and it was a solo hike. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this calf starts like charging at me. And all of the other hikers were just kind of watching. I was like, are you serious? Is anyone gonna help me? Like, hello, this cat is chasing me. But um, as it got closer and closer, I started to run away. But its mom was actually right behind me. So it wasn't really charging at me, but it was a really scary experience. Have you ever been chased down by a cow before? I mean, I don't think a lot of people can say they have. So that was, that was definitely something I will never forget. Oh no. They seem dangerous, you know, they're all cute and stuff, the little spots, uh-uh. When they're charging at you, it is some serious stuff and I thought I was gonna die. Thank goodness I did not. <laughs> Bring it down. So make sure those elbows are coming behind you. I don't wanna see them coming like this. They're going behind, because you wanna sculpt that mid back. Good, press it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop down, and hands right here. We're gonna pour out the milk jug. What I want you to do is lift those elbows up, pretend these are milk jugs, and you're gonna pour it out, and come right back down. Lift up and down, up and down, very nice. Lift and lower, and down, very good. With the elbows, okay, and I don't want you to scrunch your neck in like this. I want beautiful posture. Lift up and down, come on. Reaching with those elbows. Let's go. And oh, you're gonna be so sexy after this. You know what? You're already sexy. What am I talking about? We're just gonna be sexy. Err, you're gonna be the sexiest. Good. Lift up and down. Exhale, lift and lower. Good. Reach. Ah, oh, very nice. Give me five and four and three. Good. Two and one. Rest quick, rolling the shoulders back. Rolling the shoulders forward, upper back, here we go. Bam, elbows up, I want you to press back, 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 now check it out. When you come back, I wanna see those shoulders coming together, okay? Shoulder blades are like crushing a walnut. That's how tightly I want you to squeeze, oh, this hurts. Trust me, I am hurting as much as you are. 
At least you don't have to talk through it. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready? Last ten. Give me ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Puff out that chest. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Oh my back, my goodness. Okay. We're gonna do some front raises now, and then we're gonna end with a crazy super finale. Don't you love crazy super finales? Because I totally do. Front raises. Your legs are hip width apart, okay? Slight bend in the knee, and all I want you to do is lift those arms up and down. Reaching up to your shoulder height and coming right back down, that's it. Lift up and down. If you're getting super tired, feel free to just bring one arm up at a time. No biggie, I just want you to keep it moving. Good, lift up and lower. Exhale, up and down. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. Press and lower. And you know what? It's like probably wedding season right now. So those cocktail dresses are coming out. Everything is sleeveless. It's all about the back this season. So having a really nice one, it's just so sassy. I think it's very subtly seductive and I'm all about that. Lift it up and down. You're gonna give me a few more. Three and two. Last one. One hold. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We are gonna do two more. Two more. I changed my mind because I want to add something in there for you. I want you to bring your legs together into a narrow squat, just like so. You're gonna push your booty back. See this? Push it back. Your hands are right in here, a slight bend, and you're basically gonna pretend you're a pterodactyl, and you're going to lift up and down, okay? Or an eagle or something. Yeah, something with wings. And we're going to lift up and down, and lower. Exhale, up and down. This is totally getting that whole back. It's so fabulous. Again, if you're getting tired, one arm at a time, okay, just like this. I just want you to keep it moving, okay? Nobody stops. If you're tired, I don't freaking care. You're gonna keep going because you are strong and I believe in you and you're gonna do this because I'm doing it with you. It's not fair if I do it alone. Good, very nice. Give me five more. Five and four and three. We're gonna hold the last one, okay? Two, this one I want you to hold. One, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and in. Whoa, drop one weight down. Okay, this is our super finale. Okay, we've done these before, probably in a couple other videos, but we're gonna go all out and we're gonna do it with weights. Oh, I was so excited, I went err with that. Okay, so you are gonna hold on to the bottom of your weight just like so. You're gonna bring your elbows together, forearms together. You shall not drop the passport that is right in between your elbows, that's right, you are now holding the passport between your elbows and you're standing over a foreign ocean. If you drop it into the ocean, you can't get home and you gotta get home tomorrow. So that's how tightly you gotta hold it together, guys. All I want you to do is lift up, up, up. I need to think of another analogy. I feel like that one's okay, but it's not like epic, you know what I mean? It doesn't like get your soul, it doesn't get you like crying and stuff. So if you have any suggestions for what you can put in between your elbows and not drop it, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Exhale, up, up, reach, reach. Now these are so fabulous for what? A little bit of armpit fat, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, that, that bra pudge right here. But of course, as you know, there's no such thing as spot reducing. We can spot tone, which is what we're doing right now. But in order to get rid of fat anywhere on your body, you need to do your cardio. You need to eat clean. It's got to be a lifestyle, okay? Exhale up, up. And if you've got to keep a food journal, if you got to count calories for a little bit, you know what? I feel like that is a really good learning tool. You should know how many calories is in an apple, how many carbs is in it. You should know what works for you and what doesn't. So by keeping a food journal, you become aware of it, you become accountable, and you may realize that you're eating little things here and there that really add up, okay? There really should be no mystery to the whole weight loss, fitness thing. It's about numbers, okay? Well, with the, uh, with the exception of a few things, you know, some people have different issues they have to deal with. But in general, you should know what's going into your body and how it affects you because everybody is different. You are a better doctor yourself for yourself than your own doctor, you know what I mean? 
So experiment around, see what works for you. Exhale, up, up, up. Woo, those arms are dying right now because mine are. Woo, keep those elbows together. No, don't let them come apart. Come on, keep it together. That's right, up, higher, higher, triple up. Here we go. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and down. Three more, two, one, and down. Up, two, three, up, two, three. I want you to hold it right here. Squeeze those elbows together. Do not drop the passport. Hold it. Last 10 poses. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, down. Oh, that was so amazing. Drop that weight. Open up your thumbs to the ceiling. Open up your chest. Oh, well deserved. Bring your thumbs down and open up. Oh, so good. Fabulous. And reach that arm over, give it a nice little stretch. Well deserved. You said you did such a fabulous job. And other side, reach, reach, reach. Pull it over the head, stretch out a little bit here, and right there. And you are done with your bikini blaster seven for bodacious back and sleek shoulders. You can find the whole workout calendar for the Bikini Blaster series on my blog. There is a link in the description below on how you should pair everything because they are all designed to go together. Um, there will be a new calendar for July, so make sure you check back on blogilates.com for that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I have really exciting stuff coming up for you guys and it's just really awesome. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. And you guys, honestly, you're getting stronger every day with every rep that you're doing. I know it and I keep pushing you because I know you can get to that next level. All right, fabulous job and I will see you next time. I love you so, so much. Bye guys.